Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making vegetable wellington, the perfect option for a vegetarian Christmas meal. Start by adding some chopped butternut squash into a bowl, along with some coriander seeds, some chili flakes, and some thyme leaves. Then add some crushed garlic, some salt to taste, and some vegetable oil. Give it a lovely mix, then place on a tray then roast in the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes, flipping halfway through. Then set aside for later. To make the mushroom duck cell, add some butter into a pan, along with a whole finely chopped onion and two cloves of finely chopped garlic. Cook until onions are translucent. Then add in some chestnut mushrooms that have been finely chopped, some thyme leaves, then cook until all the water from the mushroom dries out then put in a container and set aside for later then on a tray add half a can of black beans that have been drained along with 100 grams of chestnuts which you can just break up into small chunks then roast in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes at 200 degrees then set aside for later then add some olive oil to the pan we used for the mushrooms then to that add some cooked spinach that has been drained and also some blanched kale that has been drained as well. Then add some lemon zest, some roasted pine nuts and some lemon juice. I also forgot to mention that you want to add one teaspoon of nutmeg. Saute on the pan for about five minutes. Then to make the main filling for the wellington, you want to add some chopped onions into a pot along with some chopped carrots. Sweat off the onions and carrots for two minutes. Then you want to add some sage leaves, two slices of bread cut into cubes. I'm actually using sourdough for this one, but you can use any bread you like. Add some balsamic vinegar and carry on cooking until the mixture becomes lovely and soft. Then transfer to a blender along with your beans and chestnuts. 60 ml of vegetable stock. Then pulse the blender about 3 or 4 times. You don't want to create a fine mixture here, this is perfect. Just doing it nice and crumbly. Then add in your butternut squash and give it a good mix. To assemble all your cooked ingredients, start out by spreading out the cooked spinach and kale. Then spreading out the duck cell on top. Then place the bean and chestnut filling on top. Now I'm really trying to be clever here by rolling this in cling film, but you really don't have to do it like this. This actually falls apart when I put it on the pastry, so skip this step and just do it all on the pastry. Don't do it with cling film, otherwise it will fall apart. Then roll out a sheet of puff pastry. Then place your crumbly vegetable mix in the far centre of the pastry, making sure to mould the vegetable mix together to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Now you can use egg wash. To bind the pastry together, but I just mix flour and water together, which works just fine. Then fold the longer side of the pastry over, trimming off any excess dough, then fold the edges in. Then score the pastry with a knife, which I thought I filmed, but apparently I didn't. And then brush over with some oil. Place on a baking tray. Then bake in a 200 degree oven for 45 minutes to 50 minutes. And then you are done. I like to leave it a little time to rest before slicing and then enjoy. Thanks for watching and remember if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe for further content.